do you want to turn this into this and if you want to learn how to do it you want to watch this video and stick around to see how you can do this Hi friends, today I'm here with another tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make Windows 11 look and feel like Windows Long Hornbook 4042 or 4074 or 4093, yes. Depending on the votes I did in the poll, I'm gonna show you up here this video idea one and this video is gonna be first out of those three and for this purpose you will require you will need a whole lot of files for today's video. You will need uh, the Longhorn 4074 pack for XP, OpenShell, Retrobar, and WinArrow Tweaker. So, and as always, first I recommend you create a store point. Now, choose your drive, click on configure, and we want to turn on the system protection, which is going to be enabled, and here give it some size click on ok and now click on create give it give it a name for example windows 11 and then click on create and yes once this has been created close click on ok and now here are the files that we will need for today's video and first i'm going to get one error tweaker installed. I want to extract the files, open it up and run the setup. Now we want to run one error tweaker. And now I want to agree to these license terms again. And now we're going to run this. It's doable. And now here it is. And now what we are interested in, this is a taskbar size, I'm going to make the taskbar small. And I'm going to restart explorer and we'll have a small taskbar now. I think it's going to be a bit cool but a little buggy. Now we, we don't need, we don't really need Winnerer Tweaker anymore. Now I'm going to open up the folder and, and get retro bar installed. You mean it's not really like an installer, just an executable. I want to run the executable. I want to click on more info and run anyway. And yes, we want to install Net Desktop Runtime to run the application. We want to run this feature. Now this is going to download something. I'm going to run it. And we want to install Microsoft Windows the Desktop Runtime version 6.0.14. This is installed, we can run retro bar. And now we have the taskbar from Windows 95 or Windows 98. We wanna right click on the taskbar and go to properties. We wanna go, we wanna automatically start a logon. And you want to change the theme to Windows Longhorn Arrow because the milestone 7 builds of Longhorn actually had a very early version of the Arrow theme and we have a like, nice taskbar now. Let's replace the start menu now. To do that we're going to just install the shell. We're going to click on next. Read the license terms carefully then accept them. Click on next. We don't want to click on next and install now click on finish now this should appear 
Yes, we want to choose the classic with two columns. Start menu. Go to skin and we want to choose the smoke, the glass, and here which. Yeah, it doesn't really look a lot like the Longhorn one because the Monster and Seven builds had Windows XP like start menu. But I'm going to choose smoke glass because it looks close to the slate theme. And here we want to get this pack now. I want to extract it. There are a lot of files in that pack in here. And now we have like a lot of files in here. So first we're going to change the wallpaper to the Longhorn build 493. I want to set that as our desktop background. We, we need the sidebar now. Here's the sidebar executable. And now it's going to ask us for another feature, which will install it. Alright, so that took a while and we have installed the feature and now we need to move the recycle in the dock here and just run the sidebar and here we go we have the long corner milestone 7 sidebar okay. yeah and now we're going to change the cursor here right click on your desktop and go to personalize we want to go to the Teams tab and we want to find the mouse cursor. We reset to the default and we want to choose None. That's the cursor that Windows XP had and it was actually implemented in some Longhorn builds. And I think this is basically it for this video. Unfortunately, like no matter what I tried, I can't, I couldn't get the theme applied. But if you want a bit more theme, a bit, you know, we're gonna go to the personalize. We're gonna go to the colors and find some gray color, and we're gonna show it on the title bars and the borders. Let's open up a window now. Yeah, and yeah, that was all for today's video. If this helped you, make sure you have liked this video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.